Our next couple tonight is Natalie and Autumn. Oh. Now, Natalie and Autumn have been consistently riding high on the judges' leaderboard, topping it no less than six times. But it's not about past performances here on Strictly, it's all about tonight, which means it's time for them to get passionate, passionate even, in the Paso Doble. Last Saturday, it was literally the best moment of my life. For me, the dance got lost in the performance. I will take on any advice that Len has to give because he's the king of ballroom, but I loved the dance. To make it to the semi-final, I would count myself very lucky. Going into Saturday, I will dance it like it's my last. This week, we're dancing the Paso Doble, and I know Artem will be upping the ante, so I think I'll have a lot to take in. I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Did anybody tell you how pretty you look in a skirt? No, but thank you. <laughs> After last week, we really need to impress Len, so I'm going to stick to as traditional as possible. OK. And Paso is all about flamenco. For you to get into the character, mm. we're going to go and watch our performance. You're gonna be like a sponge. You're gonna like suck it in everything that they do. So nice about the training room. Yeah, but just taking notes, and we will come back tomorrow to dance training to do those things. What you need to look for is their arm placement. Look at the hands. It's the continued rotation. Woo! Oh, go on. <laughs> If I can incorporate a bit of flamenco into my Paso Doble on Saturday night, then who knows? Maybe you can drag me into the semi-finals. By the leg. <laughs> yes. Come on, semi-final, semi-final. <laughs> Dancing the Paso Doble, Natalie Gomedi and Artem Chigvincev. You deserve it. More air, more water. <laughs> Let's welcome Dave Arch, his incredible orchestra, and our show-stopping singers. <laughs> They're the best in the business. All right, let's see if that routine has scored a bullseye with the judges. Bruno. Oh, a los cinco de la tarde. Oh, yes. It was really the undiluted essence of classic Spain. Apart from a slip-up that was such a shame, if you cut this down into a series of pictures, everyone would have been a masterpiece. I would like to see that again done at the full potential because that tiny little footfall, but it wasn't a footfall, you slipped. Did you you slip? know, it's such a shame, but I'm telling you, it was fantastic, it really was. So don't beat yourself up. Close to perfection. Craig, what do you make of it? Yes, I totally agree with Bruno. It was classy, it was clean, it was precise, it's almost too slick, and I know that sounds bizarre, but too it's... Too slick? 
things are such but a thing. But basically then lacks an element of danger and surprise. The reason you slipped, I think, is because <clears> you put too much weight on your outside leg and then it just went outside. underneath you, which was a real shame. But that was just <laughs> too much. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank goodness for that. Darcy, was it enough to see them through to the semis? It, well, it was glorious. As the boys said, it was classic, pure yeah. choreography. And, I mean, the flamenco shaping was superb with the arms and the body you created all. I'm being picky now because I want you in those finals and the semifinals. And it, it, I mean, if, if we could just have a stronger story, and I know I've asked this from you before, and it's just a relationship between you, especially from a Paso. I would have loved that. And then it would just have been a finished performance for me. But beautiful work, beautiful work. Yeah. Beautiful work. Len, they kept it traditional tonight for you. Are you happy? No, they didn't. That wasn't traditional. That listen, I like the intensity, I love the passion, I love the focus of the whole thing. And there's no getting away, you're a wonderful dancer. I never thought you were gonna touch her. There was so much, three quarters of it was, you were like germaphobes, you didn't want to touch each other. <laughs> well, you oh, just kept moving. <laughs> See, I've got this picture of you now, Natalie, swooshing around, swooshing <laughs> past, swooshing. Then I thought, hello, he's going into hold. Now we're going to get a bit of pass. You teased me. You did one <laughs> twist turn, a hint, and then <laughs> off of that. You know, listen, you know what, listen, you know what I like. I like to see a little bit of what I recognise, twist turns, chassis capes, I, uh, promenades, anything like that. It was too much faffing about at the beginning. Oh, not faffing uh, about. Well, it, Artem, it I wouldn't real. lie to you. We are you have got to up your game in this blimmin' swingathon, girl, because for me, you're in jeopardy after that dance. Oh! oh. Len! He's got a new well, role, he's Mr. Me. the cards are on the table. <laughs> Cards are on the table. OK, well, you heard it from the judges. Controversial. We all loved it in here. Well done, you two. Thank Off you go you. to Claudia. Yeah. Matty and Artem, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well done. Huge well done. You must be incredibly shocked. Glenn just used the word jeopardy. And you were trying to impress Len. You were going full... Classic when traditional music traditional. costumes. I mean, there were a lot of passive steps. Uh, yes, it wasn't too much in hold, but it was all about kind of a fight and, you know, I thought it the tensity story. between. I thought it was you. beautiful. <laughs> and just like Bruno said, if you took any snapshot, they were just creating beautiful lines. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. I love being fierce and fiery. It was adequate. It was time. fantastic. Thank just you. for me, would you promise me that you'll wear that for Christmas? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> just a small gift Christmas to myself. <laughs> the score's written. It's time for the judges' scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Nine. <laughs> Darcy Bustle. Nine. Len Goodman. Eight. <laughs> and Bruno Tungo. Nine. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Disappointed <laughs> with the eight. Well, Len has his own reasons, okay. so yeah, we'll all take right. we'll take the eight. Okay, well, huge congratulations. Great I'm thrilled. Um, now the judges think it's all about them and their paddles, but it isn't. Your votes could make or break Natalie's dancing dreams. Call six twenty two fifty two oh five from your mobile, oh nine oh fifteen twenty two fifty two oh five from your landline, or you can vote online when lines open at the end of the show. Still to come, Sophie and Brendan are taking us back to the eighties with their tango, and Abby and Aliash are dancing to Delilah. Result. Back to you, Tess. <laughs> 